I got high hopes here. It's a very, very small piece, but it sure did ring high. So this could be a, this is a cross, but is it silver? Looks like a charm. I'll take a close look at it later, but I don't see any markings. But a very tiny, I like it. <laughs> it's a very tiny uh, charm sized cross. Cool. Uh, I thought it was going to be a, a dime, but that's cool. Texas Tiger Digs, and I'm doing a roundup today. Uh, this is uh, midway through the weekend, but uh, I started this a little bit early and I had a day off, etc. So, uh, so I thought I would go ahead and get this roundup going. And uh, in any case, uh, I went out this last few days. I used uh, mostly uh, the desk on a couple of the days, and then on today, I just basically I, I, threw, the, I threw the book at it. I, I ran the Deus, I ran the, the AT Pro, and I also ran the Tesoro Outlaw. Uh, both of, all of them gave fines. Uh, but in fact, the most impressive fines were with the AT, the AT Pro, and uh, with the uh, Tesoro Outlaw. So, you know, I don't forget those machines, even though, even though know, the uh, Deus has all the magic bells and whistles. I still enjoy my other machines, and they do a good job. So, I went out to... Uh, this would have been uh, Thursday, and I went out, and I uh, I went out to the uh, to the big park, and I found a uh, dog tag, my, my second heart dog tag, and then I got a few coins here. Not a pretty impressive day. I have a couple of quarters, nickels, a couple of nickels, which I always love, uh, a couple of dimes, and a couple of pennies. So I was just playing the pairs that day. Friday, I went out. And uh, basically, <laughs> well, not a whole lot of difference in the results. I had a couple of quarters, uh, three dimes this time, and three pennies. So these, these, these are both not, you know, short days, ordinary lunch days, uh, you know, fast, fast hunts. So not all that impressive. So I went out today, and today, like I said, I threw, I threw, uh, Quite a few of my machines out there. I had, a, I had a car full of machines. I probably looked like I just robbed a metal detector store. Uh, but I saw so I had, uh, and I went out, and I went to a couple of parks. I went to the large park, and I went into the uh, an area that is giving me fines, even though there was really no reason for me to to find to get fines there. I didn't think, but it's a large field adjacent to an area where activities were going. And the only thing I could think of is that there are some group activities that spread over to that field. In any case, uh, that field gave me a couple of quarters. Uh, you know, it, you know, it, and uh, these are, uh, and uh, you know, a couple of dimes. And then I went out to uh, the uh, another park, which is the uh, the park that I usually call the uh, the ring park. I got a couple of more quarters and these various coins, etc., came in there. So, you know, it was a buck thirty-three kind of day. Not too bad. But the, the good thing came uh, when I went into the very, very trashy area for no particular reason. Uh, you know, it just, when the, when the, when the, the fines get a little bit light, I do try to, I do tend to go to the trashy areas and then see if I can cherry pick things out of the, out of the piles of pool tabs. And, on, and you know, and, and during the thing, I got a broken key, I've got, uh, this just wasn't my only one, but. Uh, I've got a pool tab or a square tab and a little piece of foil. And then I got this charm. This charm is the interesting thing of the of the uh, three days. Uh, this, I've got to say this is silver. When I get something that's not marked, I do everything I can to disprove it's silver. I ran this across multiple machines and it came in at the range of what a small silver piece would be. That's not a big deal. So I went in and I also, and you'll see the discoloration on the back. I put the, I put some of the acid that I used to test my silver on here. Now the, the, what this acid does is if it stays red, it's silver. If it goes green, blue, blue, green in that area, then it's not. These, this did stay blood red. So this appears to be silver. Now also... I don't know if this is a, this camera has the, the definition required, 
it's it's pound. It's got a it's got a pound place on on this edge here. And if you see the pounded area there, it's still silver. So that there's no there's no lack of continuity in the silver color. And I got this in a trash area about three inches deep, and it basically came out this color. Once again, some evidence that this might be silver. So, despite all my attempts to make it not silver, it looks like this is a silver charm. So, it's nice to get a little piece of silver in any kind of case. So, this won't add to my ring count in any way, shape, or form. But I think it is the first small silver charm I've found in, in, since I've been uh, detecting. So, that's cool. Sort of a milestone. So, uh, that's basically uh, all I've got for this, uh, these, uh, these three days and then half the weekend. Going to be hitting some more, uh, doing some more hunting because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, you know, by the way, these are a few that pressed these things that were in during these digs. So, just to show you, I did have some other pieces in there. Boy, this is really a crusty water. Anyway, uh, in any case, uh, that's all I've got for this. So. Uh, I'll see you at the next hunt and at the next dig. And uh, I, you saw one of my previous videos. Uh, you know, I, I did my uh, my uh, go-to uh, VDI machines. I'm also going to do a very similar thing with my so-called beep and dig machines or my analog machines. Of course, and analog can be, you know, uh, if, you, if you count the CC3D in the VDI category like I do since it does define what you're digging without adjusting discrimination. Uh, it's also analog. But beep and dig is usually what these machines are called. And I think sometimes that's a derogatory term, but I really do enjoy these machines. And some of these machines I rank in the middle or even higher than some of the VDI machines I use. So uh, that's it, and I'll be uh, putting that together probably in the next day or two and putting it out there. Don't want to don't want to uh, cluster bomb you with, uh, with videos. Uh, so uh, it, it'll be a little while on that one. In any case, uh, this Texas Tiger digs, and I will see you next time.